Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back today with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys and uh, we're going to dive into a PlayStation 4 uh, console. We're going to see what happens if you don't do your own maintenance or if you don't do a service job on your consoles. The side effects are that they will overheat a lot and you feel the heat on the both sides of the console. It will randomly shut down or you get a overheating problem messages and obviously and you want to hear the fan is spinning at really high rate so if your fan is really noisy and the it feels like a turbine inside a console this video is for you so let's dive in and let's see open it up and clean up as much as we can all right the tools that you're going to be needing is a toothbrush an old new toothbrush you need a working shop towel. We're gonna to work underneath because we don't know what we're gonna expect underneath here. Also, you need a screwdriver set. I'm gonna be using a U I fix it a screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. They are S2 class steel, that means they are tough and steel. It will last you a much longer time. And obviously, you will need some cleaning solution. I'll use alcohol, isopropylic alcohol, as they are not conductive, 95% plus. And let's get into it. Obviously, you need a gloves, and I don't have my gloves at the moment. To open up the console, first at the back of the console, you're gonna see a sticker right over here. And this sticker is already being removed, so you gotta rip these stickers away. And then you're gonna use a torque screwdriver. You're gonna be using a torque number eight. And we're gonna remove this screw at the back by the RJ45 connector. Alright, once you remove that one, you're going to remove the hard drive by sliding this one towards the outside. Just slide it a little bit and then lift it up. You can see already is the dust are coming out. You're going to remove the single screw right there for the hard drive. That's a Phillips number zero or number one. So remove the screw. Now, to pull the hard drive out, simply just grab this plastic and just slide it outward. And the hard drive should come out pretty easy. You can see it's kind of dusty. All right, once you got it out, now you're gonna set it down normally. Now we're gonna remove the top plate. To remove the top plate, you wanna put your fingers right at the edge of the front end, right where it's a place PS4 logo. And then you just wanna lift it up, just like that. About you don't want to stick it too much in, just like that in front, and just lift it up. You see, all the dust already popping out. Same thing on here in the corner, and just open it up. And gently, we're gonna slide it up, and we're gonna lift it up. Holy crap! So there's the dust on the cover, and. When I tell you clean it up, this is what I mean. It's full of dust in here. All right. So we are gonna take, gonna take it upside down and we're gonna shake it up. And we're gonna remove. And now to remove the bottom cover is the other way around. We're gonna remove it from the back side where the hard drive is and where the back. Same thing in the corner, you wanna put your edge on the corner and just lift it up really hard and then bring it up a little bit and then slide it towards the front end of the console holy jesus there's the bottom case all the dust from here and there's that beauty right there okay and how do you expect this one to work who knows all right so now that we got this one's removed we're going to shake it out Flip it upside down, let everything fall down. Alright, so what we're gonna do right now here first, before we flip it over, we're gonna remove this screw right here, right in the second corner. We're gonna remove that one because that one holds the power unit. Once we remove that one, it's right be beside this long screw that's coming from the other end. So remove this one, it's a Phillips. 
Now down here, we're going to remove the screw right at the back here. This is screw right there. And remove this hidden screw under the dust. The screw on the, remove all the Phillips screws on the sheet. And in some models, instead of screws here, it comes in a patch. So you have to break the uh, plastic heads on the, some of the models. But some models, they actually give you a screw. So I'm removing all the screws on the top cover here. The Phillips ones. And then we're going to remove the torque screws. So let's go ahead and switch back to torque. And if I know where I left it, right there. Remove the mid torque screw. Remove the side ones. One of these side ones is a long one, the other one is a little bit shorter. This side is shorter where the hard drive goes. You see? Right, once you remove these two, go ahead and lift it up this dissipator. Now we're going to lift up the power unit. To lift up the power unit, we remove the screw on the other side so we can safely put it right underneath here where the fan is located first by the fan side and then lift it up i forgot the wi-fi antenna cable right here so remove this one some models they don't have this cable right here so don't worry about it now we're just going to simply slide it out we're going to continue removing the power unit just lift it up slowly untangle the wi-fi and this cable right here you're just going to pull it out from the power unit. It only goes in one way. It's a tiny jack right there. And look at all the dirt on right in here. So we got to clean up all this dirt. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this protective case on top. And we have exposed, you see how there is the DVD drive. Look at all this dust. And just simply peel it off so now we're gonna take it outside and we are gonna clean up the whole thing and I'll be back I'm gonna put a footage of me blowing the air and we're not gonna use an air cam we're gonna use an air compressor I'll leave the link in the description they are really powerful and suitable to do this job I cleaned up nicely from both sides and we vacuum cleaned it everything from underneath and try to clean as much as you can. Obviously we can't do a, the detailed work but it is cleaned up and if one of these metals fall is from this side. So now we're going to put it back together and just finish it up. So this is just a cleaning. We're not doing anything more than just cleaning it up. Yeah, if you look, now we blow the air through the uh, power unit and it's nice and clean. So the whole component is going to be nicely cooled down evenly. So we're going to grab it the same way that we removed. And we're going to plug in the cable underneath. Only goes in one way. And we're going to bring it over. Sit it down right there. But we're not going to sit it down all the way down. Because we gotta first put down the fan cover here. So the fan cover goes down first. Has to be under the power unit. So move this out of the way a little bit. Place it down and then bring it out over. And before you put it down, just run the cable for the Wi Fi. Make sure the button I can push that one in. The Wi Fi cable is right there and. Slide it right in there. There you go. Just you have to slide it. Uh, put the screw for this one. 
Now we're gonna put this shield on top of this. And we are gonna put one of the let's put this one on here. Alright, one of these screws goes right here. Put the Philip screws right first. The really short one goes right where the metal is touching metal right here. You know which one is for a metal screw, which one is for plastic by looking at the threads on the screws. The bigger threads are for plastic, the shorter ones are for metal to metal. So the only one is metal is this one right over here. This one's right at the back. There's one I missed in the front. Now once we finish down here, one of these is screw right here, let's say this one doesn't matter whichever one you want. One of them is a has to be this black one. So let's whatever you want. They are the same screw, just the color is different. So grab this one, put this one right there. That's great just to hold the cover. Because the one underneath, we need to put this one. And there we go. We got it right there. So the color, I think it was black, but doesn't matter. Black, white, they are the same threads, just different colors. You can watch it in the video and put the right one if you want. All right, now we're going to put the bottom cover. So what we got to do with the bottom cover? Let's put it down on the... This way we're gonna position it down. We're gonna grab it. You see the buttons right here, and there's a button clicks right there. So we're gonna slide, bring it down in 45 degree angle. We're not putting it down straight. So we're gonna push it right in underneath in 45 degree, almost in this angle, and we're gonna slide it all the way down. Make sure it goes all the way in, and then we're just gonna sit it down right in there. Now we can go ahead and put this shield on top and screw it down. All right, once you got that in there, go ahead and put the hard drive in there, slide it in. Only goes in one way. So look at the jack, right here, the SATA and the power. And right there inside, you will be able to see the connector. So you know which way it goes in. So it only goes in this way. So if I try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. So press the hard drive in. All the way in with two fingers. And on this side, make sure the screw sh hole shows up. And place the, the screw on the hard drive. Grab the hard drive cover. Bring it down in an offset position, just like that. And then slide it gently toward the inside. Alright guys, we are almost done. Now the last part would be to grabbing the top cover. You want to first locate the back end down, bring it, slide it down nicely on the back side, make sure it's in place, and then bring it down and just push down the corners, and that should be all. And just give it a little nice clean on the top, and don't forget to put the last torque screw at the back, and then you should be all set to go. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own maintenance. And if you did, please click the like button and think about subscribing. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.